The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Kickers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How's everyone doing today? Why am I in this weird angle? Because I'm leaning against a giant box full of horror flick goodness. A, a kid I graduated with reached out to me the other day on Facebook saying, Hey, Chris, you were into horror, aren't you? I'm like, yeah, I still am. He goes, I got a giant box of Blu-rays and DVDs I no longer want. Do you want them? I'm like, how much? He said, nah, just take them. I'm like, where am I going to pick them up then? <laughs> um, yeah, so other than what's on the top surface, I really don't know what's in here. Uh, it's just a huge box full of Blu-rays and DVDs. And he promised it was a whole bunch of good horror goodness. And uh, I know it's not, this ain't typical for my channel, but you know, it's my fucking channel. So we're going to talk about a shit ton of DVDs and Blu-rays if I want to talk about it. Capiche? All right, enough with me. Let's look at the box. You know, let's just do it this way. Let me just pull them out one by one. Well, if I see that they're grouped, which you can see already, then we have to group a few. Here we go. So we'll start here with a couple of Resident Evil flicks. Uh, Extinction and Retribution. I've never seen Retribution. I've seen Extinction. I don't, I don't remember liking it very much, but that's okay. You don't have to like them all. Um, let's see, this next one, let's see, one, two, three, okay. So it looks like we got four Elvira movies. We got this one right here, the brain that never died, that won't die. That's a great flick. I absolutely love that movie. Cool. What do we got here? The Devil's Wedding Night. That sounds right up my alley too. Nice. The Terror. What a great and then ah, whatever you want to call that. The Terror. That is a fantastic flick. If you can find a copy of that, which is not hard. I think it's public domain, actually. Um, Elvira's Haunted Hills. I'm not too familiar with this one. Evil Terror, Lust. I like all three of those things. Uh, some girls really know how to party. This is uh, this might be the first viewing, as a matter of fact. I need some spank bank, so. Um, ooh, one of these bad boys. Remember these? I used to get these at Best Buy all the time. Ginormous boxes of uh, movies. Um, let's see. All in here. Let's see what we got here. Vampire Bat, The Ape, Monster Maker, Swamp Woman. That's a, that's that's a fun one. Uh, World Gone Mad. Never never heard of that one. Night of Living Dead. Of course, it has to be on all of these because it's public domain. Uh, Doomed to Die. Not familiar with that. There we go. The Terror again. Revolt of the Zombie. Great flick. Monster. Walks. I've never never seen that one. Monster from the Prehistoric Planet. I don't recall if I've seen that one. I'm going to have to watch it. Carnivore Souls. That's going to be my first flick. That is such a great movie. Uh, Atomic Age Vampire. I vaguely remember that one. Hunchback. Nosferatu. Definitely must see. Uh, one Body Too Many. White Zombie. I've only seen White Zombie on that one. Bloodlust. Amazing. Mr. X. Dr. Jekyll and High technically pronounced Jekyll, but whatever. Uh, King of Zombies, that's a great flick. A giant Gila Monster and the, Faith, the Fatal Hour. Okay, very cool. I haven't got my glasses yet. Very cool. I love box sets like that. Um, moving on to, we have The Predator. Oh, more. Okay, here we go. Resident Evil Afterlife. Oh, yes, yes, it's just this one. I was excited. I'm excited to see it was right on the top. The Trailer Park of Terror. The name alone tells you everything about this flick. I'm going to add it's fucking amazing. There is nothing bad about this flick as long as you look at it from what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be serious. OK, calm down. When you have a guy who got blown up and he yells, my penis, where's my penis? You know, you're in for a, a goof. Fantastic flick. I, I'm so happy to see I lost my copy between Arizona and here. So we got a double feature here. We got Werewolf of London and the She-Wolf of London. I've never seen the She-Wolf one. Werewolf of London, I am very familiar with. Um, ooh, we got another one of these box sets. Classic 50 movies. Let's see, this is the chilling classics. So what do we got here? We got House of the Dead. And Slash the Dreams. I can't say I've seen either one. 
Silent Night, Bloody Night, Panic. I've seen both of those. Those are great. Bucket of Blood, Horror of Spider Island, and The Legend of Bigfoot. I've seen all those except for the Bigfoot. Uh, Demon of Ludlow and The Cold. Can't say I'm familiar with either one of those two. Uh, Devil Times Five. Uh, a Passenger to Bail. Okay. Let's see Shock. Uh, Track of the Moon Beast. The Man in the Attic. The Demon. I've seen the Demon. Snow Beast. Sister of Death. No. Ah, Sisters of Death I might have seen. Uh, the Witch's Mountain. And Land on the Minotaur. I can't say I've seen either one of those either. Haunts and Werewolf in the Girls Dormitory. I've seen this one. I used to have a copy of this I got for 99 cents. Um, it's a trip. It's a trip. Uh, Metamorphosis, The Naked Massacre, sounds great. Uh, Medusa and I Eat Your Skin. I think I've seen I Eat Your Skin. I could be wrong. You know what's missing from these? The Undertaker and his pals, I think it's called. The Undertaker and his friends. That is such a great movie. I can't believe that's not on either one of these lists. I would have thought it would have been in the Chillings Classics, but... Oh, all right, making room, making room. There's a lot to go through here, guys, so... Oh, here's one for the kids. Fuck yeah. Looney Tunes Golden Collection. I hope this is the old violent ones. I'm going to make the kids watch that. Um, Fear.com. I have never seen this one. <laughs> I've never seen Fear.com. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to check that bad Larry out. Uh, Sleepwalker. Yeah. I don't remember if I liked that or not. I don't think I did. I think it was just one of those, okay, I've watched this. Meh. Moving on, you know. The Invisible Man. Fuck yes. What else have we got here? Lady Gaga, the fame monster. I have no idea what the hell this is. It was classy, though. Um, don't care. I'm going to probably get rid of that one. Ooh, yes! Frankenstein. Phantom of the Opera. The Wolfman. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Oh, I'm going to make my girl watch this tonight. Cabin Fever. She's a wimp. She's a wicked wimp when it comes to these movies. She couldn't finish Nightmare on Elm Street, nor could she finish The Shining. Ghost Ship? Um, I don't, it's all right. I think the movie's a little better than what people... Ooh, here we go. People give it credit for. I don't like it. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Silent Hill. I like this. A lot of people puked all over it. I thought it was a great adaptation. And I've never seen this one, so... Very cool. Edward Scissorhands... 13-year-old girl will be at my door now. Ooh, The Dark Knight. It's one of those metal books. That's awesome. Queen of the Damned, believe it or not. Never seen it. Never seen it. I had no desire to ever see it. Maybe I'll watch it now. Maybe I'll watch it. Ooh, Bad Taste. Ooh. That's a that's an odd one. A bunch of Phantasm. There we go. Okay, so we have Phantasm 3. Lord of the Dead. Phantasm 2. The ball is back. I remember 87 when that came out. There's Oblivion. <gasps> really? Nice. Oblivion. I think the only thing we're missing now is the first one. Oh, that's nice. That's okay, though. I think I have. I think I have Fantastic. The Grudge 3. That's random. <laughs> that's random. Eyes of a Stranger. I don't know if I've seen that one. Can't say I have. Not offhand, anyway. All right, let's go through here. Terminator Salvation, director's cut. Nah, it wasn't as bad as everyone made it out to be. Oh, what the fuck? Titanic, I'm gonna put that aside, too. Lady Gaga. Ooh, A Christmas Story. I like that. That's a good flick. Final Destination 2. Uh, I've seen a couple of those. I, I just can't recall which ones. Ooh, this is cool. So it's a copy of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but this is another DVD that I lost. And when I say another DVD that I lost, I'm bringing this back. It's not the movie. It's this exact copy. Um, this is textured. It looks like beef. There used to be a clear sleeve that went over this with like a, a pricing stamp and all kinds of stuff. 
Um, it's made to look like from a slaughterhouse, and it's this hard. I think it was Pioneer that put it together. Yeah, it says it right there, Pioneer. Um, it's such an odd, odd packaging. It was, it was great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that again. I was bummed out when I lost that one. Uh, oh, we got a couple soft flicks here. Oh, we got the first three. The first three. We have that one. I think after the first one, I was, I was, I was over it. The first one was such a clever flick. It was new for its time. Saw three. I, I, I had a girlfriend that really fucking loved those. I'm trying to think how many of them have I seen. I think I've only seen the first three, to be honest with you. That's all right. Hey, I still know what you did last summer. What do you fucking do? I know what you did last summer. Oh, actually, this wasn't too bad either. I mean, it was of its time, you know. You gotta at least give it that. Uh, Jodie Foster and the Brave One. Is this the one where her daughter gets killed? This one's not even opened. What was that one with, uh, um, what's his nuts? I don't think this is it. I don't think that's the one I'm thinking of. I can't say I've ever heard of this one. Hmm, interesting. I'll, I'll leave it aside and see if it's something that the lady wants to watch. Uh, let's see, the rest stop. I wasn't that big of a fan of this one. I remember getting this out of Redbox. The Indian in the cupboard. Wow, actually, nice. I think I think the girls would love this one. I liked it. This was a cute story. I'm gonna put that aside for the girls. Puppet Master collection, nine movies. That's fucking awesome. You know what I hate though? It doesn't have the original. Why do so many of these fucking collections do that? Like there's a Psycho one that has Psycho two and three, but nothing to do with Psycho one. It's obviously got something to do with licenses and stuff like that, but I don't know. Uh, House of the Dead. I'm trying to think if I've seen this before. I know on the other one I mentioned I didn't, but I think that's a completely different movie altogether. Um, I don't recall if I've seen that or not. I had to have. Okay, let's see. We've got a couple of Midnight Horror collections. Remember these at Walmart? I'll let you pause and see what's on there. I'm looking at Evil Bond. That's worth it. We're going right there. Uh, Demonic Toys. That one was pretty cool. And here's another one. I don't recognize any of these. Uh, another Evil Bond. More Demonic Toys. Uh, Fear Chamber. Now, these are all movies from... Uh, more Echo Bridge. <laughs> um, they're called like Midnight something. I, I forget the name of the studio. Uh, I have them on Facebook. They're pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Timber! Alright, we only have a handful left to go, so... Ooh, the Prophecy Collection! What? This better have the first one. Okay, one, two, three, and I didn't know there was a fourth one. The Prophecy, that was a great... I don't think I've seen any, any of the sequels. Wow, I'm excited to see that. That's fucking rude. R rad. <laughs> rude. Uh, the Return? Sarah Michelle Galar? Buffy the Vampire Slayer is returning? I can't even say I've even heard of this one. Hmm. Interesting. Is that something like a Grudge 2 or something like that? Wasn't she in Grudge? Pumpkinhead 4. Blood Feud. Never, never heard of this one. Pumpkinhead. Classic. Classic flick. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. One of the greatest remakes ever. The House on Haunted Hill. Fantastic movie. Both the original and the remake. Oh, The Next Generation. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is great. Matthew McConaughey losing his fucking absolute love and mind. Great flick. The movie itself kind of sucks, but it, it's worth it for that alone. We have Hostel, which is upside down. And Hostel 2. I actually like Hostel. Oh, wait, no, this is the original. Oh, so I have... The original Hostel, and a director's cut of Hostel. Okay, I thought it was going to be Hostel too. My bad. That's what I get for uh, assumptions, you know. It's the mother of all fuck-ups. Uh, this one's all fucked up, but... The others. This was clever. I like this movie. I mean, it was easy to figure out. The twist wasn't really all that difficult. The Strangers. This movie was... It was typical until the end. And there was just something really chilling about... I'll leave it alone if you've never seen it. But when they finally complete the job... It's, uh... 
It was chilling the first time I watched it, and that's coming from me. And now that I've seen it, it's just like, ah, oh, man, whatever. Um, see no evil? Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, I remember. I got that out of a red box a long time ago. And then Shudder. A movie I have never seen. So that's it. That's my list. That's everything. I got that done in under 15 minutes. That's fantastic. I'm surprised I didn't sit there and fucking yap about half these movies that are in here. Um, highlights? Let's see. What would the highlights be? That really special edition case of um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that Carnival of Souls is in one of those collections. Uh, I love that movie. I absolutely love that movie. I think it's... Um, it's fantastic. All right, so let me pull out the ones I know the kids are going to like and the lady. Two Hostel flicks. Maybe I should make the kids watch Hostel. That would be funny. Uh, Phantasm 2, that's a great movie. 3, I love Phantasm. Phantasm such an amazing movie. I've never seen the original. But yeah, that's it. I guess you don't really need to watch me do this. So let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite. I think the girls would like this too. I know Anna liked the first one, so let me know down in the comments which was your favorite. And, um, oh, maybe some of these, maybe at least some of these will become giveaways or something in the future. I don't know, we'll see, Cabin Fever. I'm definitely leaving that one out for the lady. But yeah, guys, thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I know this was something unusual and out of the norm. So go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to the Creeps Positive. Guys, don't forget we are still. We are still in the final stretches of the walk to end Alzheimer's. You can win a custom controller. You should already know how to do that by now. And if you have donated already to the Alzheimer's Association and you do not want to win a prize, please let me know ahead of time so I can take you off the list, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care, creep it real, and bye-bye.